Welcome back. We are here on Etoro looking at the indices, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 15, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. As you can see, we have pulled back a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Taking in the they are actually turning around. They're still bullish, but they are slowly turning around. MACD is basically leveling off here. Stochastic has crossed the signal line, and the CCI is heading underneath 100 plus, and the RSI is at over 71. It's overbought, but it is also turning around here. So we have had some, a bit of a sell-off, but uh, it doesn't really mean that it's going to collapse. Uh, most likely, we'll pull back towards the middle of the Bullinger Band or the 20 expansion moving average at around 4,038 or the middle of the Bullinger Band, which is at around 4,000. If we were to break below that, then we have the 50 moving average down here at 3,934, and that will offer quite a lot of support. So target to the upside will most likely be 4,250 and then 4,500. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones uh, did rally and then gave most of those gains back. So usually these uh, indices, they follow each other. And, and uh, even though that uh, S&P is uh, basically in red, um, then uh, the Dow Jones is in basically in green at this current stage. But it is also getting fairly overstretched. We have been rallying uh, since we basically hit support down here. This is all the way back in the 15, uh, 25th of uh, March. We have basically been rallying ever since. And a pullback should be expected at some point. As you can see, we have basically been pulling back towards the 50, 20 exponential um, in between for the last uh, several months. So pull back towards the middle here is around the 33,177. A break below that is down at the Bollinger Band, very bottom of the Bollinger Band and the 50 moving average at the 32,331. Technically, they are all turning around for the Dow Jones at this current stage. It doesn't mean that we'll, we can't continue rallying from here. It only means that we could expect the pullback at this current stage as we are on the edge of being overbought and at the very top of the Bollinger Band. Next target for this is the 33, 30, uh, 4,500 and then 35,000. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ has pulled back quite a bit. We're down, uh, give or take, uh, just a, uh, over 1%. We're down 1.20% at one point. Taking indicators are all turning around. The RSI is at 64. CCI is heading underneath 100 plus. Stochastic is crossing the signal line. And the MACD is also leveling off here. So we could see this. We basically got all the way up towards the 14,000. And now we're basically pulling back. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential down here at the 13,453. Or the middle of the bullish band at 13,300, give or take. That could be expected at this point before going higher. If we rally higher, uh, continue rallying from here, then we will most likely head towards 14,500 and then 15,000. But we have been rallying all the way back here since 12,625. So a pullback at this point could be expected before we continue higher. So let's look at that German DAX. So the German DAX finally is showing some signs of weakness. It has been an absolutely amazing rally all the way back here. And this was basically at the end of February when we basically took off. And we have been bouncing off the 20 exponential. So what it looks like is going to happen here is that we're going to pull back towards the 20 exponential around 15,000 and then continue third to 15,500 and then 16,000. Technical indicators are all turning around for the DAX, so we could see this uh, pullback before going higher. Break below the middle of the bullish band, well, that could open the door all the way back, all the way down here at 14,400 at the, the 50 moving average. So let's look at the UK 100. 
UK 100, we did see this uh, uh, pullback yesterday and then now today we basically continue rallying, but we did give some of those gains back. So we're trading just underneath 17, no, 7,000, sorry. Uh, technical indicators are fairly bullish. MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bearish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. Pull back towards the 20 exponential, that it will most likely be where buyers will come back in, and also that the 50 moving average down here at 6,686. If we continue rallying from here, we'll most likely find a major um, resistant at the very top, where we also found resistant um, only three days ago, four days ago, and also back here as well. So let's look at the China, China 50. So yes, we did rally a little bit yesterday and then gave most of those gains back. The same today and gave most of those gains back. It This looks really weak, uh, to be fairly honest. Um, technical indicators are very bearish indeed. MACD has crossed the signal line. Stochastic has crossed the signal line a long time ago. CCI is very bearish authority and so is the RSI is also bearish. If the 200 moving average break, then we could head towards 16,000, 15,000 and even lower than that. Rallies from here will most likely be sold into at the 220 exponential at 17,000. Uh, 17,277. A break above this uh, could open the door to the 50 moving average up here at 18,100, give or take. But this has, these rallies here have been, well, really weak. And this has just been falling and falling uh, for the last, uh, basically, ever since the uh, mid February, it has basically been falling. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.